Ah, uh, this is James setting up at Carlson. Sierra 2 Plus. Robot with a tablet. First of all, on the robot, switch it on. Go to GMX Toolkit. Go to Settings. Bluetooth. Put it on the Bluetooth handle. Not the internal Bluetooth. Put it on the Bluetooth handle for using with the external data logger. So escape out of there. And make sure you're not in Serve CE on the machine. You need to exit out of Serve CE on the robot, and then we'll open it on the Carlson. Now to set up the robot on the tablet, we'll open a new job. We will call it the green check. It asks you for your system. We have left it in metric, decimal meters, so on. As is, format, we leave in default, options, we will leave in default, stake, we will leave in default. We've entered a point, a random point, for an occupied point in the list. Then we'll go to equipment, we'll select total station. In the drop down menu, we'll select Carlson Robotic, CR Plus. In the comms, mine is already in. If we need to find it, we can hit the toolbox, find device. So, the Carlson CR Plus robot is ZRT82. Select it. Connect. Then we can go to settings. You can leave your EDM mode as fast for fast use. We've just got a Topcon prism in here. So the minus 30 constant. Guide lights are off. Laser pointer is off. Compensator is on. In your search features, we like to use ADR search. That is automatic target recognition. The machine has a camera and a telescope which puts the crosshair on the true position on the center of the prism, which saves our strain. This is what you think it is. Turn to point in stakeout horizontal. So we can select that. And we'll leave the joystick speed on high. And there we have it, green check. Now we want to go to survey, to store points. So we'll go to survey. we we'll go to store points. It automatically takes you to a setup to site your back site. In an occupied point, we've selected the one we put in, just a random point at this stage. We put our instrument height in, that's two meters. If you need to change that, hit on there. Our backside point is unknown at present, so we'll use azimuth. So we'll just put a point in there. Then we will hit backside. We will use the azimuth to calculate. have already set up the machine on the pole but if you haven't you can press this which puts locks the instrument onto the prism automatically it will set angle as you can see it's locked on now and it's showing that you're using a prism you can use this to toggle 
to reflectilus and laser as well. So we'll set angle and read. Here the machine taking a reading. It's taken a reading. There we have it. So we have set up on our backside. Store point. We can change the description there if we wish. We'll leave it. For our target height, when we're using reflectilus, we'll leave that at zero. If you're using a two meter pole, you can change that to two meters. We're using it on reflectilus. So we'll just, and there we are. I'm gonna read a point like that. Is our point, we can change the description and so on green check. We're going to take a shot. If you want to store a point, this is store, this is tracking. We want to use tracking only if necessary as it uses a lot of battery. This is your offsets. Anyway you'll need them. This is your configure. Configure you can change these settings necessary. You can also prompt for height and description so that if you want to change the code on each shot you can activate that and each time you take a shot it will prompt you. We'll show you now. Take a shot. You can also hit enter to take a shot. me for the description. And there you have it. Thank you very much.